I had all these big plans for a video and a project that I was going to do for you. And it just got really not interesting. Um, so what I decided to do was keep it simple. And this is a purse, a coach purse that I got back when I was in college. I got it for free. That was the only way I could afford it. So I've had it, needless to say, 20 plus years. And you can see that it's wearing on the edges there. And I don't carry it anymore because of that. I don't like how it looks, but it's a leather quality purse. And I never threw it away because I'm like, I know I can fix it somehow. And today I figured out how to fix it. What I'm gonna do, I was going to, I was gonna try to make this more complicated too. I was going to um, water down some DIY paint and then I was gonna paint it and buff it and do all that stuff. And, um, and I think DIY paint can do that because you treat, you can use it like a dye uh, on fabrics and leather. And then I realized DIY paint has black wax. My purse is black. I don't have to do anything complicated. I can do this today. So my DIY paint, I got my DIY wax black. I'm just gonna use uh, an old t-shirt. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is gonna be to make this purse like new so I can start carrying it again. Just put a little bit on my rag and maybe a little bit more. I'm gonna do this front section. It has scuff marks on it. So I'm just rubbing in the wax and you can see on the edges there where it's really scuffed up. Make sure I get that good. And I think um, in addition to fixing the scuffs, it's gonna condition the leather and make it last even longer than the last 20 years. And truthfully, it's more than 20 years. It's closer to 30. So I'm just gonna get that all on there. And when I was in college, everybody had a coach purse and I never heard of coach purses until I got to college. Uh, so I was fortunate enough to get one um, from a relative. They were getting rid of it and uh, I'm like, oh, I'll take that. Actually, I think they gave it to my mom and she didn't carry it. So then I was like, can I have that? So she was nice enough to give it to me. Okay, so you can see I covered up the, the scuff marks and I'll do the bottom too and get really good around the edges where it has the most wear on it. And I think um, typically when you use the wax on furniture, you let it dry overnight and then you buff it. So I'm going to do that. And um, I'm not sure what the cure time is. I think it's like a month. Um, I don't know what cure time for the paint is a month. So I think the longer I let it go, the better. And then um, I don't think there'll be any danger of the black rubbing off onto my clothes or anything like that. There's some debris in the pocket. And actually, I did the back side, half of the back side. This is the side I did. That's the side I haven't done yet. And I haven't even buffed it, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to how this purse is going to look when I'm done. And then I'll be carrying it again, just like when I was in college. <laughs> so I imagine that you could use this on leather shoes. I know you can paint. Um, shoes with DIY paint. Debbie and her sister Danielle did that on a live uh, video recently. And I'm sure you could um, spruce up an old jacket. I have an old leather jacket too from <laughs> when I was in college and uh, which I still have it. I tend to keep things for a while. 
So after um, the leather has had time, the wax has had time to uh, cure and buff, and I'm going to post it um, in the comments so you can see how great it turned out. Thanks for watching, and I will be back with more projects using DIY paints. I'm also a JRV stencil um, retailer and paint pixie brushes. And I do have, let me get it here. I have, this is the little Buffy. It's a wax buffer. So I think I'm gonna use that on the purse when the, the wax is ready to uh, buff out. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you again.